guys, Phil with Drive here, uh, making a quick video. Really, this was kind of spawned on by uh, Stonent or uh, Stone NT, who um, had his Android phone hooked up via a uh, Bluetooth OBD2 connector, uh, basically to read all the the different stuff from the ECU and his Patriot. And I, I thought it'd be cool. Um, I took it in a little bit different direction. Um, I actually went with a tablet. So I went with an Android tablet. This is a Dell. There it is. This is a Dell Streak 7. Uh, I don't know too much about it, but it was like 200 bucks, and it works pretty good. Um, has Bluetooth. I've got all my stereo stuff loaded onto it, so I can play all my uh, music through my auxiliary input on my stock deck. So I'm pretty psyched about that. Uh, I got, you know, I've, I've fooled around with it quite a bit, but what I wanted to show you guys today was basically how I have it mounted which is a uh, just like a windshield mount for a cell phone and I went to Best Buy and I found this mount uh, they told me they didn't have anything that would work but I found one that got big enough it seems like it's pretty sturdy um, easy to pull the thing out to I can't exactly leave this thing in my car where I live or else it would be jacked within one night so um, but the the app that I got is called Torque it's a little bit different than the one that uh, um, the other ones I've seen, Rev, I think, is a popular one as well, but I did my research, and I got this one for 5 bucks, which is a complete steal. So if you don't want to spend the money on, like, an Android um, tablet, and you already have an Android phone, for 5 bucks you can get this program, and for, like, 15 or 20 bucks you can get a Bluetooth OBD2 connector, which, I mean, it's a pretty awesome steal. Um, I've, I was into tuning for the, you know, a while ago, I guess a few years ago, I was really into it. And if I had had stuff like this to, to data log and really view all the different PIDs available through my ECU, I would have been really stoked. So even though I don't have tuning capability, it's still really cool to see a lot of this stuff. And I'll show you guys some of the real time stuff. One of the dashboards I have set up is just RPMs, load, timing advance, long-term fuel trims, um, Ambient air temperature, intake air temperature, and coolant temperature. You guys will see right now my intake air temperatures are just through the roof, and that's because I've just been sitting here idling with the AC on, and it's about 103 degrees out here. But what's really cool about this is you can customize these as much as you want. I made this dashboard. It's got a, uh, a compass, um, pitch and roll meters, as well as an accelerometer. So for, like, off-roading and stuff, that'd be really fun. Um... This thing can measure horsepower, torque, zero to 60, quarter mile, all based off of your uh, your vehicle weight. And also you have the ability to compensate for larger or smaller wheels and tires based on a multiplier and a table in here. I won't get into the too much detail, but I'm also fooling around. There's a, there's a bunch of different readings in here for throttle position, so I was kind of playing with these, trying to find which one is the right one. Um... There's also like just straight data readouts too, so you can go through and see all the different um, data that your ECU has given off. So I've been pretty stoked with this so far. Um, this thing has mapping capability, graphing capability, you can data log with it. One thing that I thought was pretty cool is I downloaded a little plug into this. It's a shift light, and it's got like, uh, as, I, as you rev the engine, you can set what, uh, when it goes red and stuff. It's kind of neat. You know, just, I, I probably won't use that very much, if ever, but it just, you know, having fun with it. So that's how I've got my setup, guys. If you have any questions or anything like that, you know, drop me a PM.